So what's the difference between growth and development? Just think, if you have 100 schools in the last year, and this year we have 200 schools. So what it is? It is development or growth? What it is? Last year we have 100 schools and this year we have 200 schools. Is it growth or development? So usually to in two two words synonymously use Korea. So maybe this is growth. This or is maybe growth. growth. This is growth. We have 100 kilometers road last year and this year we have 150 kilometers road. What it is? This is development. So you mean infrastructurally kichukolleta development? No, it is also growth. Just okay. we have more kilometers of road. Okay. Then so what is development? Same industry the hishapulla growth or different hishapulla development. Development is a different thing. Saudi Arabia. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Raj Tantro. If you ask them what kind of country it is, they will answer it's a welfare state. And now go to the United Kingdom, UK, in Europe, that democratic country we know. If you ask them what country it is, they will answer it is a welfare state. Go to the German, go to the Spain, go to the Italy, wherever you go, where you will find peace, happiness, rules and regulations that don't say we are democratic country, that don't say we are socialistic country, that don't say we are following kingdom, that just say we are welfare state. So what's the difference that we want to know from dimensions of economic development? I'm sharing my presentation with you. So is it all right in front of you? Yes, sir. So we're going to talk about dimensions of economic development. As a finance student, as a global finance student, you must understand the difference between growth and development. If I ask more money in the pocket, you have more money in the pocket. Last year, you have less money in the pocket and these year you have more money in the pocket. If the employees, they, they say that they have more money in the pocket. So more money in the pocket, it's just one dimensions of development. You cannot say this is development. You can say it's economic growth. You have more money in your pocket. This is economic growth, but not economic development. Then the question is then what is development? For understanding what is development, we need to know first, what are the related to, what, what economic uh, parameters are really used to present growth? We say gross domestic product. That is the value of output produced within a country during a time period. So gross domestic product indicates economic growth, not economic development. Gross national product, the value of output produced within a country plus net property income from abroad. This is also indicating economic growth, not economic development. So these way, if you say par capita income, that is also a showing growth. National income is growing. So they share I barche. Kito she they share I Jonagon K Jonagona Shonka diye bhakure amra par capita income bear Do you think it's a development or growth? Growth, sir. It, it's growth. The share of two but say, Tarmani Enoi, Jay Atarakuti, Manushir pocket or two beregate, that they're on a man beregate. So growth is all right. We need growth. Without growth, we cannot move. But development is different. So what is development? Development is a measure of the welfare of human in a society. When your growth ensures welfare of humans, then that is called development. So economic growth is a measure of the 
payload output of goods and services within a time period. So your agro product is increasing growth, your uh, number of school, universities, hospitals are growing in numbers, these all are growth. If these number of schools, road, culvert, flyovers, airport, and shoes welfare, then we can say this is development. So development is much more related to welfare. And that's why all these developed countries, they say their countries are welfare state. Now, I say welfare, welfare, welfare. So what is welfare about? Just now you will find the answer. Number of schools are growing, okay? So you have number of schools uh, is growing. So you can say number of school is growing, growth. If quality of education is also growth, then you can say this is development. You see the difference? So quality education is development. Number of school is not development. Yes, sir. You have so many roads, streets, culverts, flyover. You can move from one district to another district. This is growth. Unless you are safe in the road. So if you are safe, if my brother and sisters can move 24 hours safely, strong social safety is there. You can do whatever you like. You can open your business whenever you want. You can carry your product from Gajipur to Chittagong port without any hassle. Once you move out, you can come back at home safely. If you have social safety, then your all these activities growth will convert it to development. If you have high living standard, you have hygiene in your home, you have hygiene all over the uh, uh, country, you can buy all the healthy foods, you can spend whenever you want to buy quality education. How many people in my country really can spend for quality education? Do we have any study? So when you have high living standard, Yes, that is the part of welfare and means that is development. You have many hospital that is growth. If your hospital ensures good medical services, then that is development. You have technology everywhere, but you can't use. You don't have enough speed for a running internet connection, your social media, platform is not supporting a lot. You have lots of government uh, control there. Then you have technology, you are using technology, but technological advancement is not that much welfare related. That cases that will not be development, that will be growth. But yes, we have lots of technological advancement. We can say uh, uh, our technological advancement is not only growth, that is also ensuring uh, welfare. That means we have development in this field. I think from these, you have a very good uh, idea what is growth and what is development. Yes? From this yes, slide, it, 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 it's easier to understand now. The mm, growth yes, is all right, but if you, can, if you can't transform growth to welfare, then that is not development, and we are suffering in this area, we are really suffering. Our number of uh, schools are growing, but not quality education. Our number of universities growing, but not quality education. Our law and order enforcing agencies growing. We have more uh, people for ensuring law and order but social safety is not ensured. We have many hospital, every day we have new hospital, but still people are not happy with their medical services. 
So we have grown. Now, what is the job of the policymakers, the job for the people who are studying uh, 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 in this field? And you guys were listening to me. So when you are thinking about growth, same time, you need to think about welfare. So growth plus welfare, it means, it means, Development. Development. So we can say economic development means economic growth plus in the institutional improvements. What we're talking about in institutional improvements. Now is the education. Without institutional improvement, can you ensure quality education? No, sir. Without institutional improvement, can you ensure strong social safety? Also. High living standard, good medical services, technological yeah. advancement, not possible. So that's why the simple solution is if you really want to ensure economic development of a country, economic development uh, 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 for, for the society, that case is you must keep in your mind that growth and development both are not same. Yes, we need growth, but this is the time to transform growth to welfare. And how can you transform growth to welfare? through institutional improvements. So economic growth plus institutional improvements, we can say economic development. How do you understand the level of economic development? Yes, you don't need to study 100 and 200 texts. You don't need to be a, a world's greatest uh, analyst in this field. Just see the scenario. What is going on? Poverty. Poverty is growing or declining? If poverty is declining, so we are in the development phase. What about the inequality? Male, female inequality. Regional inequality, north, south, east, west. What about this? What about the scenario of all those poor districts? What about the scenario of all those districts where education rate was very poor? If the scenario has changed, it means we are developing. What about the progress like sustenance? Sustenance means once we have a road newly constructed, how many months, years you can use the road? Most of the time, maximum six months. You see that now it is a dry season. There is no activities, no development activities. Once the rainy season will start, development activities will start no sustenance. So rainy season is really good for development or dry season is good for development? So dry season. But what we do? Self-esteem, how happy you are, how happy our people are, how happy you owe. If you are really happy, your happiness is growing day by day, you're living peaceful life that is called self-esteem what you do you are really happy so when the maximum people of a country feels happy this is called self-esteem what they're doing they're happy they're doing voluntarily they're doing uh, 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 with self-motivation what about the freedom freedom of choosing freedom of starting business freedom of uh, transferring fund from one place to another place, freedom of movement from one place to another place. So if there is a freedom, means we are developing. And this way you can use the parameter related to this. You will find poor people all over the world. You say that there is a Romanian gypsy. I found gypsies in England as well. Yes, it's still there are gypsy in England. They're moving from one place to another place. And, and I have met uh, uh, one of them and I saw uh, his uh, uh, life for near about six months. And, and, and I observed how they lead their life. Still, the poor people are living in China, even United States of America, you'll find so many poor people, poor than Bangladesh. Uh, there are many definitions of uh, poverty, but one definition we are using that is from the World Bank. World Bank defines absolute poor as the number of people who earn 
dollar 1.25 or less per day. So if you consider this, so Bangladesh is really uh, developing in that sense because our pupil earnings are growing. If you say that absolute property means you earn $1.25 or less per day. So uh, lots of people in Bangladesh now earning more than 1.25 per day. So this way, our poverty uh, situation is improving if you consider this way. But if you convert this to relative poverty, not absolute, relative poverty, then it's really a matter of worry. Just think, daily 100 taka, 30 days 3,000 taka. Is it possible to lead a life with taka 3,000 per month? No, Is sir. So that cases we need to consider relative property that the purchasing power of the money, the rent of the house, the prices of goods and commodities, transportation cost, accommodation cost, inflation. If you consider all this, then you will find the real scenario of the poverty. So when we consider absolute poverty, yes, we are developing. But when we consider relative poverty, that case is we need to do more. We need to start more analysis so that we can continue to develop living standard of our people. So what do we need to look at to understand the level of development? So I said per capita income, per capita income. When you determine per capita income, just dividing your country's income uh, with the numbers of 18 crore people, you will find, okay, per capita income is really good. But you should ensure that really our people have that per capita income for each and every people. You see, some people, they have 1,000 crores, 5,000 crores, 10,000 crores. So 10,000 crores of one person, you are dividing by 18 crore. It shows that we all have money. So when we consider about development, you need to ensure that the per capita income word we are calculating, is it related to welfare? Shutti shutti desher putita manusher katseki a benefit putsitsi per capita fuel consumption. When a country is developing or going to be developed, fuel consumption will increase or decrease. Increase. Increase. So we need to consider literacy rate is growing or declining. We need to evaluate the quality of education. Unemployment rate, backer jara. Unemployment rate is growing or declining. Life expectancy is growing or declining. Our life expectancy is growing. It is 72 years or 73 years. Social safety. I'm not happy with this. Socially, we are not safe yet. You need to look at balance of payments. Balance of payments. Yes, sir. That the investment scenario, not only the foreign direct investment, we need to evaluate our local investment as well. What is the rate? What is the rate of investment from inside and from outside? Fiscal scenario means what about the budget? It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's ensuring welfare. This budget has child benefits unemployment benefits, social safety benefits, old age people benefits. Look at this, because welfare is related like this. Child benefits, if you have child, the state will provide some benefits so that you can create a good life for your children. Unemployment benefits, government will provide unemployment allowance so that unemployed people can go to the training center and take training 
to employ themselves. So fiscal scenario is important. Then inflation, the price of the goods and commodities are increasing in a way that people can't buy or it's under control. Interest rate, what kind of interest rate it is? It is supporting investment. You are happy to borrow from the banks and financial institutions. Interest rate is that, mu that, that much that it encourages entrepreneurship. If yes, then welfare is ensured. And that is also related to development. So I want to finish here.